Welcome to another episode of The Platform. I'm Warwick Wizard Kappa, in case you're living in Kuwait, and my sidekick, the beautiful Togsy, a poor man's Wizard Kappa, and two superstars, Dale Ryder. Boom Crash Opera, both at number ones, both movie stars, but I've still got me hair. <laughs> you hey. How are you, son? I'm good, I'm good, I'm very good. Been busy? Been, well, you know, got a family, got kids growing up. And you brought him in. They're Fantastic. In, they're in the studio. You know what, Dale, before we get into your story, let's go down memory lane and, uh, and check this out. I love those songs, they are shit hot, Dale. And who's your hairdresser? My mum. <laughs> Slight changes from those days. Oh, look, I'm aware that people stare at my hair. In fact, to be fair, somebody to stare at my hair, but I don't care, because hair is rare. <laughs> <laughs> um, my hair's overrated, That's yeah, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. More I'm, aerodynamic now. I am sort of hanging in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell Absolutely. us about the Rocky Horror Show. The Rocky Horror You're Show. You're the star of that, they tell me. Oh, I played wow. Frankenfurt, it was really cool. Yeah. It was, um, Frankenfurter. Yeah, I wasn't a very good actor, I've got to say. I mean, the acting thing, you know. But is, is it something you always wanted to do? The no, no, no. I, really? I boom crash kind of had a had a break, and somebody said, "You want to play Rocky Horror, uh, play Frankenfurter?" And, and I you said, took over Jason Donovan. Yeah, the old yeah. Someone, on said, he, someone yeah. said, "Thank God, though, because he had really smelly feet." Did he? <laughs> well, I don't know, because I I wasn't there. But he there's, a, there's a bed scene. He actually, in mar he actually married Colin Minogue, my old girlfriend. Back was in it? Was that your we, girlfriend? We were like friends, close friends, and um. You yeah. said girlfriend. No, I, I, it, it I, took, I took it to the next level. But yeah, close to anyone. <laughs> I did get free tickets to the concerts. <laughs> she's little. Yeah, no. And she's you're like for one, yeah. yeah. I'm spinning around. <laughs> well, I'm out of Super control. Star. Mate, we do a show all about stories, so I'd love to know at, at what age. I mean, you grew up in. Well, did you grow up in India or you were born in India? I was born, born in, in Madras, which is Chennai. Yeah. And I came here uh, 68. I was about 12. And. I think I was the only Indian you like in, Indian food? in Australia. Oh, yeah. yeah, I like curries. Wow. Yeah, gotta eat. Well, I just broke you this. Um, yep. At what age did you know you had a pretty good voice? Oh, since I can remember. Yeah. Since, oh, since, since I was, always been singing? Six. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to be a fireman or an astronaut or anything. I just yep. wanted to be a singer. Uh, yeah, six. I mean, my parents could not stop me from dreaming. And I, I used to dream about being on stage with Cat Stevens and Santana and Stevie Wonder. And I used to, oh, one of these days, one of these days. And they have achieved it. Fantastic. Well. You've got to have self belief when you're on stage, mate, believe me. <laughs> you're absolutely know, there's nothing else. <laughs> so so how, did it, how did it come to be then? I mean, the Boom Crash Opera hit pretty big around Australia. How did you end up, like, navigating into becoming a lead singer and a rock star? No, oh, just talent, I guess. <laughs> oh, I, I, no, I don't know. I was in a cover band like most people start. You know, you start off in, a, in your garage. But I had a heavy metal band called Mad Mole. Whoa, yeah. Mad Mole? Yeah, and the slogan was heavy enough to lean on. <laughs> yeah, and I had a bit like Slasher. Afro yeah, Slasher. Yeah, Slasher. But, you know... And, was, and one day somebody just said, look, this band's looking for a singer. And, yeah. That was it. How'd you think of the name Boom Crash Opera? Were they already I, going? I didn't, I you didn't just, think you, of you just came in the band? Just joined. No, 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 yeah. no. We were sitting in the kitchen and somebody said boom and someone said crash. And Opera. it used to be something else. And there was Boy Meets World and there was other names, but that one stuck. Wow. You went, you went and I heard you guys got signed after your first gig. Like the first, first gig, time. there was rows and rows and rows and rows of record, record companies uh, vying for us. And... Mate, somebody that's so says, unique. That? That, for that I know, it was great. First gig. Were you on countdown? Did you do the countdown? Oh, yeah. pretty much. With Molly? Well, lots of them, yeah. Lots of them. Grouse. Lots of them. I hosted countdown. It it was, Molly was funny. Well, I think one of the great things for a band, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But I, I think for a band would be to hear their song on the radio. Not many people get to achieve it. What was your first moment of hearing your song my, on the radio? I remember my dad. My dad was always, oh, you get, a, get a good job because yeah. the singing doesn't work all the time. And the first single on radio, and he was just. That's my, boy. That's my yeah. boy. That's my boy. And where were you when you first heard I was in a Tarago, obviously, travelling somewhere in the middle of nowhere. And you, know, you just heard and, it. Um, and no one knew who we were because we just started. And I used to put the record up on the, on the window going. <laughs> I remember I played my first game and I was in the toilet and I actually pole vaulted to the shower. I was that excited. <laughs> I pole vaulted. That means I was. 
just excited. <laughs> wow. Like the first wow. number one record in the first game of EVO football. Lucky we are. clear this picture. I'm well bolted. Had to clear the airspace. 747 approaching. Get out of the airspace, Caps. I'm just glad we're on at 10 p.m. for that. So am I. What a life. What a life he's had, though. And, and what are Great. the highlights in it? The, of like, oh, the best times. Oh, there's so many, so many. Can you no. pick one that's like a, a ripper? You know, getting getting married to my wife was a ripper. That's a good one. Oh, she's a good sort. He threw that one in beautifully. Yeah, see that? You like that? Yeah, she's I a good sort, like Lisa. The oh, daughter. Yeah, there's so many. I'm playing to lots of people. You know, um, it, it it was kind of surreal because it's like uh, I've spent the last t t ten years kind of growing up, actually reaching my age in my head because it's. Very surreal being in a band, especially being a lead singer. Uh, things are given to you, uh, adulation. People yeah. give you stuff, and I know you that. think that us. everybody does that. Yeah. You think that that's what how everybody uh, lives, and they don't. Yeah, my misery is I'm a, I'm a sport prick, but when you get looked after, <laughs> there it is. I got caught arrogant. I, I, mean, I, yeah. so, well, I get caught arrogant. I get too much free shit. Who cares? I'm more of a dick than arrogant. Yeah. You know. We have set the platform. Well, mate, there <laughs> were some great mem uh, memories there, great songs. I mean, absolutely legendary songs, and this is one of them. This is Today I tried to climb the walls, but tonight I'm on the town. I used to hang from off the ceilings, but tonight I'm getting down. I'm getting down. My longings got much longer than the pole. So many great songs and more with Dale Ryder when we come back on the platform. Welcome back to the platform. We're lucky to be joined by Dale Ryder. How are you, man? I am fabulous. You're looking very fabulous. Now, what happened with the band? Because we don't see it front and centre anymore. And yeah, I quit. What happened? Why? Oh. Can I piss you off? Yeah, they always piss me off. Yeah, like um, you well, you know, you got four people with four different, you know, five people with five different ideals and aspirations, and I just meant too much of a burden. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm just too busy having fun. And it, it becomes less precious, you know, the world domination isn't, isn't, it's become redundant now, you know, I, I just don't need, I don't um, need the pressure. Yeah, from, from the outside yeah. looking in, that, that's a huge band. Boom Crash Opera are a huge band, they're on the radio all the time, but what's it like? A lot of, lot of ticking a, bits, mate. That's what I mean, like, what's, yeah, it, what's it like a, being in that? Oh, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, really? I'm, I'm, You've got to understand different people. You know, it different. sounds easy, but it's not, is it? No, I it's mean, like being on a team, I've you know. I've toured for 30 years and not everyone gets on with everyone. I know, years. and people expect you to, yeah. and you go, we're yeah. not really friends outside the band. So We weren't as bad as that, but... Would you yeah. be on stage like in the middle of a song and you're thinking I wouldn't mind oh, just smacking that bass There were times like that guy, oh, I just want to smash him. Yeah. yeah, you that know, and, and they say things and we had this thing where you never have a fight before you go on. You always have it afterwards. Was it, was it something that was satisfied you having those hits and stuff or was there other... You mean Boom Crash? Yeah. Oh no, we made great noise together. That was, that was a fact. I mean, yeah. they, they were, without the five of us together, we didn't make the same noise. But, but like I said, you know, things... Things just change. People change, and the parameters got too, too, too wide. Too hard to set. Yeah, you just, yeah. you know, what what you like is not necessarily what I like. Especially when you get older, you become really set in your ways. And there's more. I had other challenges like family, and yep. and I wanted to just spend time with that. And after a while, it's no fun, is it? If you don't like, like each other, no, probably no, it's it's not, the, it's it's not. The but they got a good singer now. Yeah. Well, mate, you're front and center, and you're an amazing singer. And uh, you let's, guys are right, let's, let's play another incredible. You track. guys are right, the kid.
good memories seeing either the track like but, that? Oh, that track's amazing. I liked that was, it. That was fun. Was that was really good fun. That was um, Billy Zane's wife who said, who my, my manager said, look, we need to do some acting. And of course, I can't act. Anymore. And she was doing all this acting. And she could cry <laughs> on cue. And she just sat there and she'd have, we'd have to be quiet. And she'd go, <laughs> and actually go? cry. Wow. And, yeah, that's, that's a wow for me. So you just said then that you, you don't think you can act, but I mean, what was it like being a front man out there on stage? And did, what, you, did you feel in, comfortable in with that? Shopping, when you're not yeah. getting on. I was scared shitless, to be honest. Yeah, people said, oh, look, look at him. He prowls like a, like, a, like a panther. No, I was just too scared to look at the audience and I'd just try to walk away. Yeah, yeah people mistook that for arrogance, for all kinds of stuff. And it was yeah. actually me, a really shy person. So yeah. musical influences for you, I mean, forgetting being crash off. Cat Stevens. David Bowie, yeah. Stevie Wonder, Santana. Well, you've just that's about that's, that's all it. the legends, and then and then everything else in between. But basically, those. How about well, Blondie? She was good. No, I'm not. Call a... me. <laughs> we should have a segment of the new thing, you know. <laughs> I should have bought a guitar. I mean, oh, well, hey, we could have. You've been on stage with me before. Yeah, I've been up there ten times. I've got your ratings yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Doncaster, <laughs> Doncaster. It would have been a terrible show if he didn't get up. Uh, yeah. In Warwick's mind. And I sang, you just can't get it up. Oh, you just can't get it up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Brian Maddox and you. <laughs> so that's tell us about those shows. You did the Absolutely 80s. Absolutely 80s. How's that's, they going? That's fun. I mean, yep, you know, yep. that is unadulterated fun. Yeah. It's just no pressure. That's better. We just take the crap out of each other. Yeah. Um, Brian just is what Brian is. How funny is Brian? And yeah, well, he's never in the same world as we are. <laughs> you know that he's the best, isn't he? But he's never in the same. Like, he'll go and stand on stage and go. <laughs> he's a trip in that boy. He's unique. I, I love him. Are you putting this on or is this in your head? He goes, Sometimes I put it on. And sometimes <laughs> it's I was in on my head. I was on Celebrity Apprentice with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's he crazy. Quit too. I got yeah, no, well, he, he had a, bad stories about yeah, that. Yeah, I got evicted first and he got evicted second. Yeah, he and didn't like that at all. He yeah. said they, they pick on you. 37 mm. takes. Yeah, yeah, they, want to pissed, they want to get pissed off with everyone. Yeah. And of course, Scotty Khan as well. Kids in Scotty the kitchen. Khan. Scotty Khan's the, 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 the captain. Scotty's yeah. good in yeah. me. So, what sort of stuff's coming up for you then? You mentioned before something about a rock boat. I'm doing rock boat with. I've actually got two bands. I do the Absolutely 80s thing and that's the pub thing. And then I do. You're playing with Foreigner? Yeah, How with, that? with a band called The Voices, with Jason Singh from Taxi Ride and Reese Maston from X Factor. Yeah, he was Mark good. Mark from Choir Boys. It's more of a corporate thing. Yep. Called this the Super Group or something. I don't know. Wow. It's called The Voices. We and we're doing uh, the rock boat with Foreigner and where does Romantics. The, where does the boat go to? Goes to visit boat. Go to Darling. New Caledonia. New Caledonia. Wow. I might get a berth on that, me and Lisa. For a week. We only got one gig, and then the rest is just drinking the and eating. Boat. It's going to be great. Wow. I'm the sex goddess, and you're, you're, you're the rock boat. I might get a yep. berth on that. Well, there's 40 bands on. Really? On the yeah, yeah. There's like, in, you know, there's a whole bunch of bands on playing at different yeah. venues. and that I don't think good. it would boats that big. It's going to be fun. I've never been on a. Mate, what, what advice would you have for, for a musician out there today that looks and sees what you've achieved and thinks that Jesus, would be unbelievable? It's so hard now, man. Everything's changed. You know, the, it's all. It's all um, it's all digi. It's all manipulated, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of voice yeah, and they're, they're made up of stars, aren't they? Record companies aren't investing in, in new talent. They're just not, it's just not enough money in it. Um, television programs, you, you name it, they're just not investing in. And the demographic of the world is changing. So many people moving around, cultures clashing. Music seems to have just gone. That's why bands. A lot of, a lot of kids are interested in politics more than music now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's why, I've noticed is that why bands, you notice on YouTube. Is that why bands. They tour now for so long. That's the big money, isn't it? Well, you need money. Touring. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. in the old days you could sell records, but now you now can't it's, because it's all digital. It's all online. Yeah. Now, you mentioned before that you used to dream that you'd see yourself on stage being a musician. Have you always been a big dreamer about other things in life? Yeah. <laughs> I like thinking. Yeah. Uh, I love thinking. Thinking's, thinking's great. So what's like future dreams and still any other? Uh, my wife keeps saying I should finish that record that I started 30 years ago. That I want to write a record. Yeah. It's, but it's, you know, I've got really... Uh, um, I procrastinate a lot, and not because I've got incredibly high ideals, but it's just that I'm, I'm just lazy, don't have the ethic, <laughs> you know. I just haven't, got, I've well, never had the ethic, and I, I need to be pushed, right. and once I'm least, pushed, I at do least, it. At least you're honest. Yeah. Do, you like, do you like Deep Purple? I love Deep Purple. Oh, good. Smoke yeah. on the water and... Smoke on the water. Highway Star, I love that. Yeah. Well, yeah. mate, seriously, on behalf of like just a music fan in general like myself, I thank you for everything you've done because there were oh, some great welcome. tunes. And uh, when yep. you're in the car at night and you hear certain songs come on, you just turn it up and sing along, including this. We love it.
was that, mate? And where was that shot? Esky. Oh, that was Darwin. Darwin? <laughs> so. You go down the hill on an esky. Yeah, the people who got there, down the hill, it's called eskying. Wow. And I'd, I'd noticed that for the first time in that, at that gig, and it was like crazy. Like and I'm talking 30, 40 people, mainly men, stupid men, just plowing through the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of new reconstructions. <laughs> Absolutely. That doesn't sound too safe. Yeah, that's it funny. was insane. That's, that's funny. But it was, it, it was like 45 degrees or something, you know, it was wow. crazy hot. So yeah. where, where can we find you now? Like, you still have a website and everything? Is it Google? Uh, the voices, Give the voice of Boom Crash Opera, the voice of ex Boom Crash Opera, or whatever. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, yeah, just look up Pop Shop or look up The Voices and you'll find me. Yeah. All right, man. Come and see me. Yeah. Come and see me. Well, look, thank you saying. so much for coming on the show. I mean, you're one of my heroes. I love, I love your music and uh, it's been great to have you on here and thank you for coming on. Thank, thank you, both. Come to get on the platform. We love you, mate. We love Warwick Hepper. We do. And when we come back, we're going to meet one of our sponsors, uh, Huss from Car Lision. Actually, are we going to meet two of our sponsors? Yeah, we're going to meet well. Robbie too. We're going to meet and Robbie us. from RS Chase Lawyers. RS Chase Lawyers. They will be here to have a chat, so uh, keep happening. watching. Hey guys, Togsy here from the platform. We have a great young team of people that put the show together every week, but we couldn't do it without our sponsors, and they are Ultra Tune. Sean and the team, thank you so much for backing us. Car Lision, Huss and the guys, the best car repairs in Australia. RS Chase Lawyers, for all your legal needs, and Property Direct AU, Sam and his team will look after you. Thanks guys for supporting the platform, and now back to the show. Welcome back to the platform, I'm Wizard Capra. In case you've been living on Mars, let's thank our new sponsors, Togsy, RS Chase Lawyers, number one for all your lawyer needs, and the beautiful Hussy Wussy from Car Lision. You bend them, <laughs> he fixes them. And he fixed me Ferrari five years ago, shit hot, and now he's doing me Benz. Well, guys, look, before we have a chat, we just want to say thank you because we're a community show and a community station, and without having people support us, the show couldn't get made. So let's give him a clap. Thank, thank you for having us on the show. He loves, also, he loves doing the random claps. And also Ultra Tune and yeah, Ultra Tune Property and Property Direct, Direct AU. AU yep. Thanks yeah. to Sambo. So guys, uh, tell us about your businesses. Uh, well, yeah. Ravi? Yeah, when did you start, mate? Yeah, I started about four and a half years ago. Yeah. Uh, so we're a relatively young business in terms of uh, a law firm. So. Yep. Um, and where's, your, where's your practice, mate? In Northcote. Yep. 464 High Street. Get down oh, there. Oh, good plug. He's learned that off me. <laughs> He's, a plug first, He's a plug first, this guy. He's a plug first, this guy. Yeah, so we're there. Um, yeah, just thought we need something in the, in the legal industry where it's more value-based billing and people yep. need to know their lawyers. A lot of the time, files get passed around at yep. our firm. Your lawyer picks it up. You build a relationship with that lawyer, get things going, and it gives clients more confidence in terms yep. of their matter and things like that. So it works out really well for everyone. And we're always contactable and stuff like that. You don't have to worry. Clients don't generally have to worry about getting, getting billed for every phone call and what's going on yeah. and what's happening. Some people do. So. Some of them do stick it up, yeah. Hey, exactly right. right. So <laughs> yeah, we're trying to give better value. I've been using it for five years. Was, uh, was being a lawyer yeah. something you always wanted to do? Not at all, no. Um, I, I, I didn't. I, I did a science degree first. Wow. Then halfway through, I wanted to become a panel better. <laughs> then you wanted to be a footballer, didn't you? Like me. Yeah, something like that was too short, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what's, yeah. what's, what do you actually specialise in, mate? Uh, we're, we're a general firm. Yep. Uh, so we do a bit of insurance law. Um, can, we do some conveyancing, criminal law, um, family law. So it's it's a fairly general firm. We do a fair bit of everything. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so it's, it's what's, your, what's your email? Give, give a plug so they can... Oh, you can go on rschase.com.au uh, is our website, sweet. so you can see, see us there. Now, and, uh, we'd have a lot of viewers lot, that uh, you know, are, are young and they're thinking they're uni or they want to you know, work their way through in life and find out what they want to do. What does it take to become a lawyer? Is it like a hardcore study thing? How yeah, many it's years? it's about five years, isn't it? Five, six years? Yeah, it's, it's a long time. It's a lot of sleepless nights. Um, it's a hell of a lot of reading, so if you don't like reading... Don't bother. Readers uh, are leaders. You know, gotta, yeah, well, that's, for me. That's what they say. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, you're reading a lot, yep. um, getting through things. Uh, yeah, a lot all of our uh, exams in law are open book, and people think, oh, well, you've got an open book exam, it's easy. It's not that's easy. It's not necessarily that easy. You really need to know where to go and what to find and yep. what laws apply to certain situations. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's fairly difficult, but, you know, if you can do it and you can persevere, the rewards yep. are definitely there. Are you going to try and uh, franchise or just have... Happy one, one, no, no, well, one, 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 one firm at the moment is, is yep. going fairly well. I mean, yep. we'll expand the firm as, as, as it grows. Um, it's been growing fairly well over the last four years. We've got um, three solicitors in there and uh, yep. three support staff. And, it's, yeah, it's, it's going really well. It's expanding fairly well at the moment. So, yeah, Fantastic. we're happy with that. Well, mate, on behalf of the platform, thank you. Thanks, no, thanks, thanks for number one sponsor. And uh, the legend beside you, Huss. 
John, tell us about Coalition, mate. Look how how this journey started. Thanks for having me on the show to begin Look at the beautiful house. <laughs> how did you start your business, mate? Um, How's it all going? My, my business actually started um, probably about 8, 10 years ago. Yep. Um, I come from a family of tradesmen. My father's actually a panel beater. And you're in Tarelga, um, mate, are you? Uh, no, no. We, we started off in Coburg. The first yep. business was actually originated in Coburg. Um, family owned and operated. And yep. then from Coburg, obviously, we, uh, we, we expanded our operation and went up to uh, Gippsland, so, yep. which is about two and a half hours out of Metro. Yeah, it's real good. So yep. I thought, well, maybe, you know, we've got something in Metro yep. business as well. We've got a good reputation. We've been there for a long time, family owned and operated. We'll yep. expand it into the, uh, to the regional area, and, and we've done that. Fantastic. You've done my Mercedes last week. Come out brand new. I've seen so some I of the cars. I on recommend your, your stuff. On your website that you've, uh, that you've worked on. There's some pretty special vehicles. We, we, we are a BMW approved body shop repairer, so we're actually being approved by Germany itself wow. for fixing our BMW. So we've got the actual ticket in terms of. You've got of, special uh, painting, special so, uh, painting. So yeah, we're an OEM repairer for BMW itself. So yeah, yeah look, you know, we. Uh, but look, end of the day, mate, a car is a car, no doubt. It's a. Uh, uh, it's the next thing ever, like, you know, a, a person's most valuable asset is his home, and after the home comes a vehicle. Yeah. So when we take someone's vehicle, we're taking a very big asset of theirs. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter what it is, yeah. what, what brand, it, or how expensive, or whatever it may be, you know. What's some of the we best cars you've done? You've done Bentleys? Well, look, we've done everything. Lambos? We've done everything. We've actually done everything. But yep. the way I see it, matter car's a car, um, yep. you know. One, man's, one, man, one, one person's trash on the man's treasure. You treat everyone the same. It's exactly the same. It makes no difference. What, what, kind, of, what kind of skills does someone need to have to get into your industry then, like in coming uh, up to you? Look, I am a uh, paint technician by, by trade. I actually, I'm dual, dual qualified, panel yep. and paint, but I, I chose to continue the, uh, the painting side of things. Um, obviously, I, no doubt, uh, you know, you've got to have the eye. It's come a long to, way in the last uh, 10 years. It's changed a lot, hasn't it? Oh, the industry or changes two, every day. Or two pack colours. Well, well colors. everything's water based. Everything's yep. waterborne these days. You know, we use a, a product called Glazerit, which is all waterborne based. You know, yep. it's, it, everything changes. Technology, um, repairs, the tools and machineries. Even the way we, we even the way we, we, we do things on cars has changed. Yeah. Everything, everything. And if you don't wow. move up in the times, you stay behind. Yep. So you know? tell us about where we find your company. You, you've got one in Toronto. Uh, well, 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 well. On your website, plug like a business, mate. You've got one chance, son. Don't be shy. <laughs> well, the first, well, our Coburg location, which you know very well, Coburg, yep. is at uh, 74 Dawson Street, Coburg North. Yeah. 74 Dawson um, Street, guys. Coburg Get down North. there. And the, uh, the other one is at uh, 82 Eastern Road, Tarogan. Um, you tell them Huss and Warwick Kappa sent you. And you can see it, find us on Facebook, no doubt, Carlision Body Works, uh, Coburg and Carlision Body Works, Tarogan, and our website is www.carlision.com.au. Make sure you go and see mate. Thank Fantastic. you to both of you, because like I said, you sponsored the show, and without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do it, so we're really appreciative, and uh, thank you for coming on the show. Thank we you for having us. We love Huss and Robbie, fantastic sponsors. Thanks and, a lot. And uh, that's it for the show, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week on the platform. See you next week, guys.